G'day YouTube, this is just a short video in light of my recent Android for Linux distro reviews. Now, this is a Linux distro named Android x86, which is of course the desktop port for Android, uh, capable of running on both 32 and 64 bit architectures, which is great to see. Now, just a little bit of background information on this port. Uh, this project actually began as a series of patches on the Android source code to enable Android to run on smaller Ultrabooks and netbooks, uh, such as the previously successful ASUS EPC uh, varieties, that sort of thing. But it has since turned out to be a fully fledged version that does run on uh, pretty much anything that you can throw it out these days I suppose. So having a look at it, now actually I will just do a little bit of a disclaimer, I'm not uh, going to get into the nitty gritty of this, it is uh, it is a little bit different of course to most Android distros, so it's not something that I want to talk about too much Android, but I will just uh, show you and tell you enough just to get you by, and in fact the most important part of this video is to show you that this actually exists, this is great, so as you may have seen in previous videos of mine, I've shown you guys something called Remix OS for PC, which is a different type of Android uh, variety, but this one's actually really lightweight, really, really basic, just, just does everything you want it to though. So let's probably start off with uh, going to settings if we can, and I might just go to the about tablet just so we can see what it is. So we've got Android 4.4.4, not the latest and greatest, but this would be KitKat as we can see with the little spin there. Uh, get out of that if we can. Now, as you can see, I'm using the mouse, which is great to see. You can actually see the mouse. I'm sure this will work on touchscreens as well, but uh, it definitely is designed for a typical keyboard and mouse sort of setup, so that's nice to see as well. Now, I've got the kernel version, which is 4.0.9 Linux, which isn't actually that bad. It's uh, the current latest Linux release is 4.2 and 4.3, maybe 4.4 in beta, but uh, that's actually fairly recent in terms of Linux kernel, so I do like to see that as well. Now, probably most importantly, uh, you'll find is the access to the Play Store, which will give you a complete access to the, the plethora of all software related to Google Play and Android out there, which is great because basically you can turn any old small underpowered machine into a fully fledged Android device, which I think is really fantastic to see. Also, we've got all this Google on tap stuff. We were to type stuff in, that should work. Now, <laughs> <laughs> Close enough, yeah, sure. There we go, federal jobs, etc., etc. So yeah, it, uh, it's it's actually been working quite well for me. Fairly smooth so far, can't really complain about that. Now this is uh, considered to be release candidate 4 of KitKat 4.4.4, a bit of a mouthful there, but uh, it's uh, I, I, I really would foresee them to start on to move on to Lollipop, the next iteration of Android after this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I can't speak much for the, the phone app. I'm, I am curious as to how that would work. In fact, it's really making things go a little bit different here. I'll just get out of that for a moment. Moment. I'm sure perhaps if you were to have a, a SIM card that might actually do something for you. But let's see what else we can get. The drop down menus. What I'm actually going to hope to do right now is navigate to the auto rotate and I've found it. So let's just see if I can reach up there. Probably actually the next part of the video I'd want to go to. Rotation locked. No, no thanks. Auto rotate. Okay. So it looks like I might have to turn an app on to get this going. Let's see. Uh, something that would typically not rotate. I'm going to stick with Play Store. It's probably not going to do a lot for me. Bit of a shame. Maybe I will leave the video there. I, I actually hadn't really planned to uh, get into it too much, just to at least show you guys the version of Android, the version of uh, the, the Linux kernel, uh, and basically that it exists and it's there to be used. So uh, yeah, guys, have a look for it online, go to your torrent websites and uh, check it out, download it, give it a go. It's, uh, it only does need about a gig of RAM to run, maybe even less. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been working quite fantastic for me up until this moment of course but uh, yeah you guys give it a go see how you go this is just a release candidate though so it's not quite uh, in full production but uh, yeah give it a go either way see how you go all right cheers guys hope you've enjoyed and I hope that this has been of some help for you ciao